treehouse at Lewis Ginter is part of their children's garden. The request was, we are redesigning the treehouse and would like to manufacture windows. Can you do it? <laughs> and so, of course, we said, yes, we can do whatever you want us to do. I was excited because I've gone to Lewis Ginter since I was a little kid. It's my childhood. I've never had the opportunity to do this before, and especially for a place where I used to go as a kid. I remember like the different play areas and how I used to go with my brother and have fun there. So, so this is digital media art and design class, and we learn how to use the Adobe programs. We design posters, advertisements. Um, we also do the two posters for the theater company. We'll do that twice per year. And then sometimes like this, we'll get interesting sort of like commissions to do stuff for the school or other places um, in the county. They really liked the idea that the four panels be kind of this fluid theme. And that was something my students and I discussed and we presented to them. So I made my artwork as, as if I was working on one panel, but there are actually four. So if I pull up the navigator here, you can see how each window is their own sort of piece and they each have their own leaf in it, but they all connect. And I wanted to explore the different species of trees that we have here. So I started by going online and just researching the different types of leaves we got and just wanted to get some interesting shapes. This is an oak, this is a maple. So I know I wanted to highlight on the flowers because that's such a big part of the botanical garden. My teacher, Miss Mabel, she brought up how stained glass would be really cool. And I think it's a beautiful medium. So I wanted to implement that into my design. So like these are all individual little segments that I put together. So they're all on one layer, but um, then there's four different ones. That's all of them together. I was originally going to do the seasons, but then I thought of how their windows, having light going through them, and I wanted to mess around with light, so I decided to do the different times of day, and then have different like levels of light that would be going through each one. So I started out with this one, because I already had an idea, I wanted to do the spiderweb stuff, and I wanted to do the butterfly. And then I went today, with the trees and then dusk, which I knew I wanted to do a ladybug for right here and then I wanted to do a few four leaf clovers. And then for dark, I wanted moon, stars, and then I added snails at the end because this was kind of empty right here. We were constantly like redesigning, redeveloping, rethinking so that we could ensure that our form was met and that they have the function that they need. It's a whole different experience seeing them in person, in metal, engraved and all that, and on Adobe. So I was very excited. Being able to show my parents or even friends like that I did this, I just think it's awesome. And the fact that it's staying there for such a long time, that makes me pretty happy because that's something I can like, oh, we should go to Lewis Ginter. I have something there, you know, and show people around. Um, I think it'll be a good conversation starter for sure. It was just a really big wow. I can't believe I can touch this. I can't believe it is a product that it was produced. It was just a super exciting moment seeing our work come to life.